Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Middleware Technologies. Today we will be looking at how we can collect the metrics data uh, from uh, Linux operating system using Elastic Stack. Okay. So here in this uh, video, like uh, I'll show you how we can uh, use Elastic Stack to collect metrics data for uh, Linux operating system uh, using uh, the uh, the uh, the metric beat uh, modules uh, that are provided by Elastic Stack. Okay. So uh, what basically uh, this metrics uh, uh, beat does is uh, like it basically collects the uh, the metrics related to a specific uh, service or uh, the software component uh, for which we want to uh, gather more details okay so let's say like if we if we uh, install the metrics uh, uh, the linux module for the metrics suite like it will collect the uh, relevant information related to the linux operating system like the uptime the uh, the load uh, the load average uh, the disk memory cpu utilization so all these things uh, can be captured and visu visualized using the uh, kibana dashboard okay so what basically we are going to do in this video is we are going to use uh, metric suite uh, to collect the data and send it to elastic uh, stack uh, elastic search which is going to uh, index the data and uh, send it back to the Kibana wherein we can visualize the data uh, using the Kibana dashboards. Okay, so let us see how we can achieve this uh, in this video. Okay, so in order to uh, use metric speed, uh, uh, we will need to have the Elastic, uh, Elastic Search and the Kibana uh, services to be up and running. So, here in this video, we are going to use the Ansible module to. Uh, install and configure the elastic search and the kibana services okay so as you can see the first step uh, is to install and configure the elastic search using the ansible uh, module okay so let me go into my uh, vs code okay so here we are going to see how we can install the elastic search so okay so this is basically the the main playbook uh, wherein we are going to call this uh, role linux uh, install elastic search server okay so what basically uh, this does is so if we go into the task main.yaml file so it basically uh, does the uh, the prerequisites for installing the package that is elastic search pack package so here we are going to import the gpg key configure the repository and enable the repository and make sure the elastic search is installed and we are going to copy a template uh, elastic search config file uh, and reload the daemon sh and make sure the elastic uh, elastic search service is up and running and also on fedora like we need to open this port uh, the elastic search port that is 9200 which is lis uh, which is listening so that we can access it from the remote systems okay and uh, and finally we are uh, going to validate this elastic search uh, service whether it is up and running uh, by using uh, by hitting the url uh, with the basic aut authentication which is enabled okay so coming to this password uh, basically uh, like when when you install the elastic search for the first time okay so So when, when you are going to install the elastic search for the first time it is going to uh, like uh, output the uh, the default uh, password for the elastic user uh, but in case uh, like uh, like you can capture it using the register uh, by, uh, by registering a variable and uh, printing the output over here but in case you are not uh, doing that one like you can use this module okay so wherein we are going to uh, we will reset the password uh, using Elasticsearch reset password for this user and uh, output that uh, the new password uh, onto uh, our screen for use. Okay, so this is the role that you can use to basically capture the password. But yeah, so I'm assuming like we have a Linux uh, Elasticsearch server already installed, and you have uh, the required uh, and the user uh, with the password uh, available for the elastic search okay so let us try to install this and 
make sure our elastic search is up and running So basically it is uh, going to configure the repository, enable the repository and it is uh, making sure the Elasticsearch is installed. Okay, now uh, it has copied the, uh, the template Elasticsearch configuration and reload the daemon and uh, it is making sure the elastic search is up and running and finally we are going to validate the uh, elastic search uh, uh, url okay so if you get this output uh, so it means like your elastic search is up and running okay so basically uh, like i have used some variables over here uh, to to be utilized in the template and in the task so I'm um, uh, um, uh, putting these variables in the respective uh, ta uh, uh, task main.yaml file and the template file okay so this is the elastic URL uh, uh, that we are going to that we ran uh, to validate so this is the output for that okay so and the template I just wanted to mention like I have opened this network host with the elastic search underscore host so basically it means like we will be able to access the elastic search service or the fully qualified domain name okay so this is how like I have uh, like uh, prepared my role basically it contains the repo the main task the template for configuring the elastic search service and the variables that i'm going to use okay so uh, uh, anyways like uh, this complete uh, role and uh, the playbook is available in my github so you can uh, get it from my repo so i'll just give it the reference uh, here okay so if you go into repositories so you'll find uh, the elastic stack uh, all the playbooks and rules over here so you can utilize it uh, for your reference okay so now like we have our elastic search uh, service up and running so let us go and see like how we can install and configure the Kibara server. Okay, so here is my uh, playbook for the Kibara server wherein we are going to call this let us install Kibara role. So basically it is going to So this is the role uh, which we are going to use to in, uh, make sure the Kibara service is up and running. Okay. So here also the we are going to carry out the similar steps like wherein we are going to configure the repository, install the Kibara service and make sure it is up and running. And this is a uh, uh, important step wherein we need to enroll, uh, we need to generate the token uh, uh, for Kibana to be registered with uh, the elastic search okay so for that we need to make sure the elastic search is up and running and then we can run this uh, elastic search create enrollment uh, token which will generate the token which we are going to utilize in uh, like enrolling the Kibana with elastic search okay so this is how like we are going to enroll the Kibana with elastic search wherein we are going to pass this uh, token which we have generated uh, in uh, using the elastic search create an enrollment token okay so this is how it, it is done and uh, once the kibana enrollment is done it will we are printing this output so that uh, we make sure that the uh, kibana enrollment is completed successfully 
and then we are going to reload the daemon and uh, and finally like i am allowing this kibana port uh, that is 5601 uh, so that i can access it uh, from remote system okay and uh, this is the repo file that you can uh, get it from the documentation and this is the template uh, wherein basically i am updating the only value that i am updating over here is this one okay so this one is basically it means like i will be able to access the kibana uh, service using the uh, fully qualified domain name and this variable kibana underscore host is defined in uh, uh, this variables uh, main.yaml file and we have other uh, variables also defined which we are using the tasks like the gpg key and the kibana port okay so this is how my uh, uh, structure is for the role for installing the kibana service okay so let us install and make sure the kibana service is up and running okay so here you can see like it is configured the repository make sure the kibana is installed and make sure the elastic search service is up and running so that we can generate the token and use it to uh, enroll the kibana service okay so as you can see you, it has configured the kibana and the kibana configured successfully okay so once that is done it reloads the daemon and make sure uh, it is printing the kibana output that is fine uh, and it allows the kibana port on the firewall so our kibana service is up and running so this is the server on which like we have installed the elastic search and the kibana so let us make sure the services are up and running manually so this is how you can check the elastic search service status so this is up and running and this is the kibana service okay so it uh, like basically we have just installed the kib uh, kibana service uh, but we haven't uh, started the kibana service so let us start the kibana service so for this like i have a role uh, which we can use that is kibana start service so it basically ensures the kibana service is up and running okay so i'm going to use this playbook in the next kibara start minus k so now if you check the kibana service it is up and running so basically uh, I, I was calling this uh, kibana start server which calls internally the Kib linux kibana start server role so basically it ensures the kibana uh, services up and running okay so now we have the elastic search and the kibana services uh, services up and running okay now now coming to the third uh, so let us let me go into my documentation once okay so we have made sure the elastic search and uh, service is up and running using ansible so this uh, is basically explaining me about the role and the the playbook that we have utilized okay and uh, coming to the next uh, step that is install and configure the kibana service so here also like i'm explaining the linux uh, playbook uh, the uh, danceable playbook for the kibana server and the the uh, the role that uh, uh, that is being called okay so we have our elastic search and kibana service uh, up and running and the third section is installing and configuring the metric beat service using ansible okay so here uh, like basically we are going to install the metric beat uh, metric beat and uh, we need to uh, like enable a module 
so basically there are a list of modules that are available uh, for, uh, that are provided by uh, the metric beats but uh, we will need to enable that module uh, for which we want to uh, capture the metrics okay so let me go into that module so we are going to ins uh, use the playbook Linux install metric beat so this is the role which we are going to call so let me go into that role and here you can see like we are using this uh, rpm package and installing the metric beat so let us make sure that the metric beat uh, uh, package is installed metric beat So once, uh, so once the metric beat uh, installation is done, like we can uh, configure the metric beat using the Linux metric beat config update module. So I'll explain you like what exactly it does. Uh, at this, okay. So we have made sure the Linux metric beat package is installed, and now coming to the important section related to the metric beat so this is the metric beat config update uh, playbook that we are going to run where it first it will take the config backup then start the elastic search services start the kibana services then uh, update the met uh, metric beat configuration and start the metric services okay so basically uh, So let us go one by one. So metric beat config backup. So this is the role uh, which bake, uh, basically takes the backup. So here, like uh, we are capturing, uh, we are making a backup directory available or created and then we are taking the backup of the metric beat uh, that is etc metric beats uh, folder and copying it into, into the backup folder with a particular date okay so this is how uh, like basically uh, we are making sure that we take the backup of the metric beat configuration before we uh, do any config changes and here the var section contains the metric beat config location and the config backup where we are going to take the backup okay so this is the first thing uh, that we are going to do as a part of metric uh, config update and then we are going to start the elastic search this is pretty straightforward forward wherein we are going to use the service uh, module to start the elastic search services and uh, uh, this is all the same uh, the kibana start server wherein we are going to use the service module to start the kibana service and now coming to the important section wherein we are going to update the uh, metric bit config update okay so let us go into that module or role so here like as you can see like we are going to configure the uh, metric beat to communicate with elastic search so we are going to we need to update the metric beat.yaml file okay so we are going to copy this template file into etc metric beat metric beat.yaml file and then uh, make sure like we install this enable this linux module uh, um, so basically it is for capturing the metrics related to the Linux operating system but there are uh, other modules that we can uh, uh, enable so let me do this metric beat modules list so so this is the list of modules that you can enable basically so the type of uh, the type of server or the type of service for which we, we you want to capture the metric bits so you can give that name and enable that module and that uh, ensure the kipana service is up and running okay and then we are going to 
uh, do this uh, set up the metric beat uh, beat assets so this is the final step that we need to carry out to make sure the metric bits is enabled and capturing the data for the the corresponding uh, module okay so let us now try to and uh, let me show you the template also for the metric bit or yaml file wherein uh, we have configured the kibana and elastic search services so that metric bit, metric bit is able to communicate with elastic search and the kibana services okay so let me go down a bit so here you can see i have configured my kibana services uh, with uh, the host username password okay and uh, here is the elastic search configuration wherein we have configured the host protocol and the username and password and this is the ca trusted fingerprint uh, basically it is the uh, ca certificate uh, sha256 uh, fingerprint that we need to update over here okay so for for, for that uh, actually uh, we can do so uh, for capturing the SHA-256 fingerprint we can run this following uh, open SSL command so basically what it does is it uh, uh, prints the uh, basically extracts the certificate uh, HTTP CA certificate and from that it extracts the SHA-256 uh, SHA uh, the uh, SHA-256 uh, SHA value and uh, it basically converts it uh, without uh, having any colon okay Let me run this on. So I'm running it on my local machine or controller, but I will have to run it on the server on which Elasticsearch and Kibana is installed. So this is the SHA-256 code which you can update over here. So this is pretty much that we need to uh, make sure uh, to update our Kibana uh, metrics speed. So let us run the playbook Linux metric feed config update. So it makes sure the okay. So as you can see, it may make sure the elastic search is up and running. Kibana services up and running, and then configures Elasticsearch, okay, for metric beat dot um, uh, yaml file, and ensures the uh, module is loaded, uh, and Kibana is up and running, and then it set uh, sets up the metric beat assets, okay. So this is the final step, uh, which is done for metric beat installation and configuration. So now, as you can see, the metric bit service is up and running. So we can make sure. Uh, here, like uh, it is up and running. And now, let us try to go and access our Kibana portal that is running on port 5601. Let me get my password. Uh, the Elasticsearch user default user pass user and password. Okay. 
so now if everything goes uh, fine like in the discover section you will be able to see this index matrix beat uh, which will capture the details of the Linux operating system you can try to refresh it so it starts capturing and uh, these are the fields or uh, which uh, gives you the information or the metrics so let me uh, see this okay uh, so let us do this uh, CPU utilization visualize and it will generate our graph for the CPU utilization okay so this is how like you can generate the graph uh, save it and uh, and we can give like a name so basically I have uh, this dashboard already present so let me go into my dashboards So as you can see, like uh, it uh, it provides us with the CPU utilization uh, for this particular server. So in the similar way, like you can use this discover section to capture the relevant uh, fields uh, uh, which are of interest for you. Okay, so these are all the metrics for the specific uh, Linux operating system. Uh, which you, you can utilize okay so this is how like uh, uh, how we can capture the metrics of a particular linux operating system using the metric beats uh, service and uh, utilize it in the elastic search for uh, visualization of the data okay and uh, this is my uh, uh, github repo for the elastic side uh, stack which you can use uh, uh, to uh, install and configure uh, the elastic search the kibana service and the metric beats uh, service on to your server okay so this will help you to configure uh, uh, the el elastic stack on your servers okay so i hope you uh, enjoyed watching this video uh, thank you all thanks for watching this video and you guys have a great day